if we are increasing any productivity, sometimes that one, this belonging stick rate goes to the fixed variable. Thus, productivity will be increasing. Productivity will be until the less this going to the high productivity you are getting this when you are using the capital and the land according to Alfred Marshall. Then according to Strigger, they are, they are giving that one in increasing capital and land, in increasing capital and a land. Then in this, the inputs and the productivity being this, held a constant. If we are assuming to take the help of the cultivation, that is a capital and land, you can do the cultivation, no problem with that. It is increasing. But these are the constant, na? what are the constant? Capital, land, both elements are constant. By the certain of resulting the incompletion productivity, de decreasing of marginal productivity will be diminishing. If we are using the traditional unit, we are making this anything. So what will happen? We are using the continuously the marginal utility or output also will be diminishing as per Alfred Marshall. So we have the some assumptions are there. So what are the assumptions? So the law quality operating in the short term means what? The law of variable proportion, it is applicable, belongings to the which term, it you have to take the short term only, it is not applicable to the long term. The techniques of production remains the constant. The techniques of the production remaining constant means what are the constant? Capital, land, both are constant. It is a technical thing, so on. Okay, next thing. All units of variable factors are homogeneous. What do you mean by homogeneous? All the factors remaining are homogeneous. It is belongings to the perfect thing. Perfect market. Means we have the number of alternatives. We have the number of substitutes. So number of things number of consumer it is applicable that one that is called homogeneous and uh, moreover it is possible to the various amount of a variable factors that is production so if it is possible productivity means we are consider only variables if you are doing the cultivations it is increasing there is no doubt about that but Trade goes to not only fixed but also variables. Okay, so we can ex explain about the law to help of the diagram. And as the, the law of is explained by help of the hypothetical diagramation to show that one. And uh, suppose the farmer has to has a 10 acres land. And they are doing this to land of cultivation, the amount of the land and uh, equal to the sum is the remaining things. So, how to this one is? High is a 10 acres land, the cultiva cultivation is started. The how many stages? The what will happen in the first stage? So what will happen in the second stage and what will happen in the third stage? If you are changing the regular, regular variables, the results will be come. How to get the results will be come? If you are using the regular variables, as a 0 to up to 10, then what will happen in this result position? The result will be come outside, the output will be increasing, the output will be decrease, the output will be constant. So what will happen? We can show that one. So we are changing the number of men's will be change output. 
so output will be give the different different outputs average output increasing output constant output will be see when it is possible when you are changing the means or labors or variables such as it is effect on output when you are changing the variables regularly continuously it will be effect on output also so we are draw the one diagram so what will happen in this we can show it first is we take this one diagram that one table the table help of the table we draw the diagram we can show it first is units of variable factors units of units of variable factors okay next is total product total product so next is average product okay next is marginal products marginal products how many we are going to consider unit that is a variable factors and the total product average product marginal product zero one up to we are going to consider eight two three four five six seven eight okay now we are going to this one total products suppose i am saying zero next is eight we consider eight next is twenty just example i am saying that one 36 55 60 60 next is 56 56 now average product how to get the average product okay total product divided by number of variables you are getting the average so total product divided by variable factors zero here also zero i divided by 1 you are getting the i divided by 1 you are getting the i Twenty divided by two, ten 